Oh, hey, I'm Mike, the ultimate Mackie Mackoid. I'm just a super huge Mackie fan, and I'm super fired up about the Mackie 30th anniversary happening this year. Wow, 30 years. What a long, strange trip it's been for this iconic audio brand. Come with me, my friends. Take a seat on my magic carpet as we take a ride through space and time. It all started back here, man. A Seattle kid, Greg Mackey, had an epiphany. Rock bands needed an affordable, durable mixer that could handle their louder instrument volumes. He saw an opening in the market for high quality audio products at an affordable price. Greg tuned in, turned on, and invented his first mixer, the cosmically inspired Tapco 6000. Launching his first company, Technical Audio Products. Say, man. Are you feeling kind of funny right now? Time warp. Oh, oh, oh boogie down. In 1977, Greg Mackey left Tapco and started his second company, Audio Control. Flash forward to the future. I'll catch you on the flip. Now, two successful companies might be enough for some, but not Greg Mackey. He continued inventing new products he wanted to use himself. Gear the market needed with a focus on quality, affordability, and durable design. Running his brand new company, Mackey Designs, out of his three-bedroom condo in Edmonds, Washington, Greg used leftover parts from his prior companies to invent the LM1602 line mixer, the mixer that started it all. The LM1602 set new standards for low cost, compact size, and high performance. Just say no to bad sound. A series of new ad campaigns spearheaded by Ron Kolaha brought Mackie into the market and in your face with its signature personality. Score! My producers are telling me that the legendary Greg Mackey is here right now. I'm gonna come downstairs and talk to Greg Mackey, Greg Mackey, oh. Hey, questions? What was your motivation to create Mackey Designs? Uh, I play music. I'm not a, a particularly good musician, but I play multiple instruments well enough to kind of know what uh, musicians would probably want. When I look at the marketplace, if I look at a product category, and the products are overpriced, not very good, I love the competition. I love being able to make better products for a better price that's useful for the musical community. I sold a bunch of microphones, whatever equipment I had, I think I saved about $6,000, put it on the stirring Mackie, and that was the beginning of it. Top three Mackie products. My favorite products were 1604, 1202, oh man, oh, uh, SRM 450. Gotta get my model numbers straight, it's been a while. Poison or white snake? Neither. We're like totally friends in real life now, right, Greg Mackey? I mean, this has been really cool. Okay, next stop, where we're going, we don't need no roads. Whoa! It's the 90s, yeah! In 1991, Kurt Cobain killed glam, and a new sound came, a sound from Seattle. And with more competitors emerging in the audio market, Greg Mackey would not be outshined. He released the Mackey CR1604. The name Mackey became synonymous with mixer. 
The CR1604 inspired a series of compact mixers over the years, including the VLZ series. Then in 93, along came the analog eight bus mixers with the sweet demo videos. Has this ever happened to you? Help! To make sure these production beasts could handle the abuse of the studio and the rigors of the road, Mackey started a system of extreme product testing that involved beating the crap out of this gear in every way possible. Our mixers keep on working. And this Tavern Fire Toasted 1604 still meets all original specifications. Oh, hell yeah. Light a fire. Burn it down. Smash it. Mackie products are still built like a tank today. <laughs> Radical. Gnarly. Tubular. Schwing. What not. When you think of Woodenville, you might not think of big time show business. Well, start thinking again, because a company run by audio freaks who call themselves Macoids is making Woodenville famous. In 1995, the company sold its 100,000th mixer, and it was time to break ground on a new facility in Woodenville, Washington. Oh, hi, Petey. Oh, that's Mackie's corporate chihuahua. <laughs> Mackie's company mascot was a chihuahua named P.D., with a reputation for being the last one awake at every party. R.I.P. P.D. Oh, how I love the days of old. In 1997, those crazy Macoids decide to launch their first digital mixing console at the NAM show on a ridiculous seven-week production schedule. With some pharmaceutical assistance in tow, the team created the design and made the final tweaks to the prototype in the hotel room just hours before the show. And the digital eight-bus console was born. Just want to say that I love this equipment. We love it. We love it. We love the new board. We love Mackie because they're the bomb. In 1998, Mackie entered the speaker market for the first time with its pristine-sounding HR824 studio monitors, quickly becoming standards in professional and home recording environments everywhere. Kent Swenside, Director of Industrial Design, 13 years. What makes Mackie Gear so rugged and tough? A lot of testing and a lot of design. You just throw it off the building and stomp on it. I love setting things on fire as a kid. In 1999, Mackie released its kick-ass SRM450 Active Loudspeakers, the largest selling powered loudspeaker in the world. Y2K was upon us. SRM450 supplied the beats for the new millennium and a whole lot of parties that everybody thought was going to be their last. What's up? Welcome to the new millennium, the aughts. The world did not end like everybody said it would. It didn't do it, which is fine and chill because Mackie released a whole bunch of new, more really awesome audio gear into the world. In 2004, the Onyx series mixers and the TT24 brought Mackie sound to the digital masses. You know, this board is so easy to use that even my drummer can run it. In 05, the big knob dropped on the scene. This was the first of its kind of studio controller that changed the game by allowing users to route signals from anywhere to everywhere. In 2008, the Pro FX series mixers gave people more features at lower prices with USB inputs and onboard effects. It's still Mackie's number one selling mixer today. In 2009, Mackie launched its flagship solution for production professionals, the HD series the first to bring acoustic correction processing at an affordable price point. And now we have a special guest, Ben Olswang, Director of Firmware, Software, and QA. Ben, talk to me like an audiophile. Tell me about that signature Mackie sound. The Mackie sound is, is all about 
high quality clarity, presence of the voice with a full bottom end, really tight low end. So we're, we want it to be accurate and even, not overhyped, but we want to really reproduce the important uh, frequencies of the vocals and the low end incredibly well. One of the great things about working for Mackie is just to be a, a part of its legacy. The ability to keep working on these products that bring incredible capabilities down in price to users who couldn't achieve it before. So starting with the analog mixers like at the beginning that Greg did with the 1604, all the way to today working on products like the DL series, the CR series, the Thump Pro FX, all of these products bringing incredible value to the customer and incredible quality to the market. I gotta say, I love your big knob. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You can only be talking about the Mackie Big Knob, the, the studio centerpiece. No matter what kind of studio you have, large or small, the Big Knob should be at the middle of it. <laughs> can I come stay with you for a few months? In 2009, Mackie's epic thump loudspeakers packed Mackie's legendary sound and powerful bass into one ultra affordable package. Ooh, coolio, I'm getting hella hyphy off these new Mackie releases. And Mackie was everywhere, even in Snoop Dogg's tour van. Oh, yeah, I done bought the road studio. Already? What'd you think? Is I? Right? It's looking right. Mackie's new at software, got traction. You know, just the whole vibe of it all. You know, that I can relax and make music while I'm on the road. That's the key. Right. I can roll like a superstar now. Before, I was rolling like the milkman or the ice cream man. <coughs> Oh, oh, oh. Contact high, Snoop. Woo! Woo! Hey, what's hey. up, baby? Got the funk with you. Got the Mackie board. All of it. We ready to wear it out, baby. I've had Mackie gear forever. It's been synonymous with us. It's like you look down, it's Mackie. Look around, Mackie. Look around, Mackie. You know, I was actually into Mackie gear way before that, so uh, it's cool that you weren't, but you know, you discovered them then and that's cool. Just remember the bootlegs and the early uh, mixers and speakers. You know, I've got that, actually. I've, I, I still have it, too. It works great. Okay, wait, stop. We gotta get back to the future. We Audi 5000! <laughs> yeah! Ooh, it is litty litty lit up in this here piece. And we about to get it turned up. Boom! The digital revolution is now upon us. Mackie is now focusing on cutting edge digital products that can set you free. Released in 2012, the DL1608 wireless control mixer was the first of its kind. The first total wireless digital mixer, it created a whole new paradigm shift in the digital mixing landscape. Now you can mix anywhere and everywhere using the Master Fader mobile app. Whoa! That is lit AF! Woo! Mackie is the GOAT! Never sleeping. Mackie dropped a bunch of new loudspeaker products. They've also added the latest Bluetooth technology to some of their existing lines. Oh, snap! These new portable PAs with Mackie Reach and the Mackie Free Play series are hella tight. Plus, there's the fully redesigned Thump Boosted to add more boom to your room. Epic bass, brah. Yes! A wavy new line of ear gear including professional in-ear monitors, crisp sounding CR buds, and MC Series studio headphones. Now the whole squad can get crystal clear quality sound in the studio, on the road, and at home. The new DRM Series is a bumping professional loudspeaker line with huge advances in their DSP with precision crossover and time alignment and FIR filtering technology. I don't know what any of those words mean, but I do know for a fact that those are the best sounding loudspeakers they have made. And that's major key. Jamie Hernandez, Field Support Associate. Can we get a selfie? Okay, hold on a second, I wanna get this. 
Tell me about Mackie's versatility, go. So that's the beauty of Mackie, is being able to use it wherever it's needed. You know, we have stuff from your bedroom artists and of course DLS systems that can multi-track. So having a big show, you can plug multiple inputs and record that right into your computer, take it to your bedroom application and use it there as well. <laughs> Flipping it around, just doing interviews. <laughs> Mackie Squad, oh bring it in. Escade, Mackie Squad, what's up? Oh, 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 oh. What just happened? <laughs> now let's get back to my parents' bay, I mean my professional TV studio. Follow me. Welcome back to the modern day, 30 years later. <laughs> Happy anniversary to my favorite audio brand of all time, Mackie. Michael, time to do your laundry. Mom, shut up! I'm trying to do my snow! Hey! Always messing up my snow! Do it now, Michael! You do it now! <clears throat> Sorry about that. My, uh, my producer is telling me that it's time to wrap up the show, so hey, happy 30th anniversary, Mackie. Rock on!